I am not a leader. I know what it's like to be the girl under the floor. Oh, you are one crew. You don't have to be afraid of your enemy of one crew. Choose. All of me for all of us. All of me is weakness. All of me for all of us. 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 I am not a leader. I know what it's like to be the girl under the floor. All right guys, I'm gonna start by priming my skin for all the makeup we're gonna to apply today. And to make my skin tone a little bit more tan, I'm just gonna add a slightly darker concealer. I'm gonna use this as foundation because it blends so well and it lasts all night long, especially if you're going to a Halloween party. So I'm just blending this in with a damp sponge, bringing it down the neck, the ears, pretty much all over and underneath the eyes. Making sure to blend everything really well. And then I'm going to go into my cream contour palette from e.l.f. and we're going to contour the face. I just want to add more definition and try to best emulate her face shape. It is completely different than mine, but you know what? We're just going to roll with it. So I'm going along the cheekbones and the jawline to make the jawline a little bit more intense. And I'm also going to go over the nose area as well. And then we're going to set everything and go over that with a powder contour. I love this palette. This is from Lunatic Cosmetic Labs. And I'm just taking some of the warmer shades to go over where we just applied the cream contour. This is just going to intensify um, even more and set everything so it stays into place and doesn't move around. I'm adding a little bronzer to my neck and ears just so everything is nice and cohesive. I'm going to set everything with a loose setting powder just to lock everything in one last time. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows really quickly. I'm just filling them in with a dark brow pomade. I'm doing them fairly natural because her brows are definitely more on the natural side. Going back into the contour palette, I'm gonna add a little bit of blush to my cheeks. Just add a little flush of color. And then moving on to the eyes, we're gonna take this jumbo eyeshadow pencil. Anything you have in hand will work. And we're just going to basically smear this all over the place. This does not have to be precise or perfect looking, so I'm just basically taking my brush to the crease, the lower lash line, and blending this out also with a damp sponge. I want this to look really greasy, really worn in, and that's a lot of the looks that the women have on the show. Um, lots of black liner around the eyes, really smudged out and messy, and I love it. So I had a lot of fun doing this part of this look. So just making sure to blend really well. I also added a black liner to my waterline. Taking whatever is left on the brush, I'm just adding little smudges all over my chest, neck, and face to make myself look kind of dirty. I've been fighting. Uh, we all know that Octavia is always looking kind of dirty, <laughs> so I'm just blending in with a sponge as well. I'm taking a matte black shadow to set that eye pencil. And then going through the crease with just a matte brown shade, just to add more depth to the eyes. I'm also taking that same brown shade again, just making little smudge marks all over to make myself look a little bit dirty, more realistic. We do not want this look to be perfect at all. I'm going to add some mascara just so my lashes have a little bit of darkness to them. And then for the lips, I'm just taking a soft nude lipstick, just add a little bit of color back into my lips. Um, and just kind of blending it out with my finger and keeping it really simple. Now for the fun part, I'm taking some fake blood on a small sponge and I'm just basically going to add this all to the forehead. And I'm definitely doing the look that she wore 
quite a few times on the show where she had pretty much the upper half, her forehead, and along the eyes, and a little bit on the nose, just blood everywhere. So I'm just slowly building the fake blood up. You can add as little or as much as you want to. I also went over the eyes a little bit, just to make it look more realistic. And then I'm adding a little bit of a red eyeshadow to the crease and underneath my eyes, just to intensify this really gory look. And my hair, I pretty much just made it really, really greasy and wore it down straight because it is short like hers. So that is everything, you guys, that completes this Octavia the Red Queen makeup tutorial. I love this show. If you haven't checked out The 100, definitely check it out. It is on Netflix. I am obsessed and I just had to do this look. I hope you enjoyed. All the products will be listed down below. Thanks so much for watching. Happy Halloween and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. All of me. I know what it's like to be the girl on the floor. You don't have to be afraid anymore. It's like to be the girl under the floor. You don't have to be afraid anymore.